Ozempic face, Manjaro face, Wagovi face, Zepbound face. Is it a thing? And what is it that's happening where people are losing so much weight in their face? Let's talk about it. Kevin, why is your face so skinny? Hmm? Why is your face so skinny? Are you, are you on a GLP-1? Are you on Manjaro? Do you have a Zempic face, Kevin? Well, apparently Kevin has just decided to lay across the front of me for some reason. So he's going to lean against me now while I record this video. Being a dog mom is hard work sometimes. So Ozempic face, Manjaro face, insert GLP-1 face here. Um, I'm seeing a lot of posts of people who are seemingly confused both about what extreme weight loss can do to your face, but also they seem to be confused about looking older. So I wanted to dive into this because it's very interesting to me. And it's something that we don't consciously think about but it is a part of our societal standards, so I, I wanted to talk about it. Okay, so <laughs> in order to better explain this to you, there is a psychological theory of people appearing younger if they have a rounder face or larger eyes. It's one of the reasons why little tiny dogs with giant eyeballs are so appealing to many people. It actually triggers a response that is like a protective response. Um, it's like a natural innate kind of human response that makes you want to take care of the baby. So it, it triggers those feelings that are very similar to love or, you know, admiring something or, you know, if you ever get that feeling where you're like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I just want to eat it. That's a thing. That's, that's a real thing. And you're not the only one who thinks that way. So what tends to happen when people are obese or morbidly obese, right? We have the round face. And so in our mind's eye, we think that we are younger or we appear younger than we are. But to others around us, it's very likely that we appear our own age. And if you've ever seen people that, you know, go on TikTok and they're like, oh yeah, I feel like I'm 30, but I'm actually 35 or I'm actually 40, right? And then they get absolutely slammed in the comments of people being like, yeah, you look like you're 40. It's because in our mind's eye, we look different to ourselves. It's also one of the reasons why body dysmorphia can be very challenging for those who have had extreme weight loss because you're seeing yourself every day and so you're not noticing all the nuances and changes that are happening both in your body and in your face. So what happens? You lose a bunch of weight and you lose some of the weight in your face. And then people start to think that they look older than what they are. Now, I have seen some people who unfortunately do end up looking older than they are. This is an unfortunate thing that happens when you lose a lot of weight in your face specifically. Um, the, the fat that is in our face, right, as we age, has a tendency to fill out, right, all of those wrinkles so that we don't see them, we just see a smooth face. When in actuality, the wrinkles are there, right? I don't, I don't really have that many wrinkles, so I'm, I'm trying to show you. <laughs> Plus my face is still chubby, so it's all good. But you, you get what I'm saying. So 
once you lose that extra padding in your face, you start to see all of the wrinkles that were already there, but they now don't have any tissue, right, filling them out. Now, for some people, they think that they age 10 years, right, by losing weight, and they become very upset about this. When in actuality, like nine times out of 10, when I see people posting in the support groups and they're like, oh my gosh, I lost 100 pounds and now, you know, I've aged 10 years, I look terrible. Nine times out of 10, when I go look at their pictures, their recent pictures, mind you, they have not aged 10 years. It's, it's in their head, right? Because, and, and I speculate, and this is just my opinion, I'm not a medical professional. I speculate that this is part of the aspect of body dysmorphia, that they are now seeing what their face would look like if they had never been overweight. This is what their face would look like, assuming that they don't have, you know, a ton of excess skin, which depending on what their, spart their start weight was, they might, right? But just on average, average. I find that when I go and look at these people, they don't actually look older. Their faces are just not as full and round, which makes them look more childlike, right? Remember that psychological thing. So to them, they're like, oh my gosh, I lost 100 pounds and now I look horrible. And they get really upset. And I think that that's part of the body dysmorphia and I think that more people should be talking about it. Now, there are some instances, right, where you end up with, here, I'll try to show you mine. You can kind of see it here. I, st I still have fat on my neck, so it's hard for me to show you. But um, people end up with loose skin, right, on their neck um, and other places of their body, and they become very upset. And for me, the trade-off between losing the weight, having my energy back, having my life back, having the ability to fit in a booth, having the ability to buy clothing from any clothing store that I walk into that has adult sizing, all of that is well worth Ozempic face right? Loose skin, right? And I, I get it. It sucks. And, and nobody wants to have it. But there is no over-the-counter cure. It's just something that you have to accept or you need to make a plan to address it. Now, what are some of the things that you can do to address it? When it comes to your face, you can do Botox, um, make sure that you're going to a licensed professional, make sure that you research various fillers, right? Because no matter what you hear, fillers migrate. You may cause yourself a whole new set of problems. So you can do fillers, you can do Botox, you can get a facelift, right? You can do all of these things. There is no over-the-counter cream or, you know, lotion that is going to fix the problem. Having a very well hydrated skin will definitely help when it comes to wrinkles and loose skin on the face and neck, but it's not going to fix it. It's not going to magically go away. And I'm here to tell you, oh, Kevin, oh, oh, oh. You're standing on my hair. That really hurt. Jeez. I was trying to tell you that it's okay. Oh, now you're sorry. Really, Kevin? It's okay to have a skinny face. It's okay to have skinny legs. It's okay to have skinny arms, right? Like if you 
are losing a bunch of weight and becoming healthier, it's going to be okay. And if it's something that you decide that you want to address down the road, don't, don't let that hold you back. For example, I saw one lady that posted, which prompted me to make this video. She had lost um, 60 pounds and she had decided that she looked 10 years older and that she was going to come off the medication and actually attempt to gain the weight back because she was so upset with how she looks. And I just want to say, Kevin, jeez. Oh, I just want to say that there will be people at either end of the extremes, right? I am at one extreme where I don't care. Give me the loose skin, give me the ozempic face, right? If it means that I'm healthier, I don't have to be on lifelong medications like blood pressure medicine, which made me feel horrible. If it means that I can go and do things with friends and family. If it means that, you know, I can walk up and down the block and not be winded. If it means that my quality of life is improved, but I'm just not gonna look as good sign me up because I'm perfectly okay with that. That's me. I'm at one end of the extreme. This other lady who is saying she's going to get off the medication and gain the weight back because she's so upset with how she looks. She is the other end of the extreme and it's perfectly okay to fall somewhere in the middle. If you want to, you know, look into getting Botox or, you know, um, there are various red light therapies that people say have been helping. You can try that, right? Like if you want to get a facelift, absolutely look into it and do those things. But let's, let's not go to the other extreme of, hey, I lost all this weight. Just kidding. Let me gain it all back so that I don't look as old. That to me says that there is another challenge that that person is facing and really they need to address that um and that's another one of the reasons why i recommend that people do therapy when they are losing weight because it can make a huge difference especially when it comes to body dysmorphia which i personally feel that that is but it's just my personal opinion. Tell me in the comments below, what do you think? Do you think that, you know, viewing yourself as 10 years older or having, you know, ozempic face is a type of body dysmorphia? Or are you okay with the loose skin and having a slimmer face? Let me know in the comments below. If you're looking for a positive only support group, I've got you covered. The link is in the description box below. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe. Check out my other videos where I have tips and tricks to help you on your health journey. And as always, be kind, rewind.